a lot of the so-called actors and actresses, if you take a good look at them, if you truly observe them, if you're willing to trust your eyes and your instincts and revert almost to a childlike state, to how you saw things when you were a child, well, then you can't deny that something is off. A lot of the so-called women that we see on television are the exact opposite. And they always have been. And they always will be. A lot of the men are the exact opposite. The thing is, what is it that gives people such a blind spot when it comes to this area? You would think that all the men who wear women's clothing, the grown men who wear dresses on film and pretend to be women, supposedly for comic relief, that that would be a red flag. And you would think that all the so-called women who cut their hair short and take on a boy's name like, oh, I don't know, Billy or Eric, and claim that these names are, you know, multi-gender, both male and female, that that would be a red flag. But it's not. The reverse of everything has become the normal, the new, open normal. The normal that used to, you know, it wasn't as in your face as it is right now. The whole idea of cancel culture and completely controlling someone's speech is an attempt to, in my opinion, influence thought, to control your perception, and to give you a blind spot to make it so that you can't see because you're misinformed, because you're uninformed. It's as if they put neural roadblocks in people's minds where their brain can't process truth. I'm reminded of a saying, those who have eyes and do not see, those who have ears and do not hear, because the truth is, if you look at someone, an actress, so-called actress, like Angelina Jolie, and you see a woman, a six-foot-tall woman, looking at this character, at this individual, well, then you are horribly misinformed. And you're out of alignment and you're not in accordance with your own mind. And what I mean by that is, you're not able to process truth. Because this blind spot, I believe, has gone on long enough. The men, the women, the lies, the crossing of genders, it's been so pushed, so presented that people forget that the theater, the plays, the showmanship of Shakespearean uh, portrayal of stories, the enacting of life on a stage originated with men playing both the male and the female parts, with Romeo and Juliet being two men kissing on a stage in front of everyone. Of this being open Roman culture, of this being Sodom, of this being Gomorrah, of this being the earth in a state of perpetual cognitive dissidence.
a state of free love, of full acceptance, of every lifestyle, of every bad choice, of every wrong decision, of a deviant mindset. In some places on this earth right now, the draconian, tyrannical societal leadership would put you in what is known as jail, imprisonment, for simply stating what I'm stating, for simply calling out the truth, for calling a spade a spade, for calling a man, no matter what else he decides to put on his face or his body or what parts he decides to remove or what parts he decides to add, for calling a man a man, for calling a woman a woman. There was once a time when it was believed that these people were shunned. There was a time when people believed that they were such a small minority of the population and they thought that there was no way that they would ever assume any real semblance of power, that there would ever truly be any mass taking over of people's mindsets, of the heritage and culture of homosexuality being openly taught in a classroom to students. And yet here we are today, deep in the blind spot of society. Because if you can't see this, if you can't see that one man putting his phallus inside of another man is wrong, well, then how can you see that someone taking a needle, filling it up with poison, with beer, with bile, and injecting that into you and telling you that it's going to help you, it's going to make you stronger, it's going to help you live longer. You can't see that that's a lie, that that's wrong. Well, then you won't be able to see anything. You could literally be told to walk out into the middle of the street, get hit by a bus, and you're going to gain superpowers. Some people even believe that the taking of markings, the hiding of their skin through tribalistic needle inking of their skin makes them stronger makes them faster that the runes and symbols somehow go farther than just marking their skin but enhance their bodies enhance their minds the truth is they're all fools. But the biggest fools are the ones that can't see it. They can't see the forest through the trees. They refuse to elevate themselves mentally. They refuse to face reality. And they live in a world where whatever they're told and whatever they're given is what they're taking. And they'll take anything if the authorities, if the establishment, if leadership, if those who have a higher level of supposed education say that it's okay. Because the reality is enough is enough and no means no. And there's never been a revolution in history that has ever been without violence. It's just never been. And if you can believe that you can have a peaceful protest and that if you simply just say no and you keep to yourself and you try to mind your own business and you try to stay in your lane and work your job and pay your taxes, 
that people are just going to leave you alone, you are mistaken. Even the book of remembrance states that every man, every man who was born from a woman will only have so many days that are good and the rest will be bad. And that is what I'm speaking about. The blind spots of society. I believe we've been living in them. I believe that us communicating in this manner has only ever been a temporary measure. It's only ever been a reassurance of truth, a cognitive relief to let you know, hey, you're not the only one out there that sees what's going on. You're not the only one who can process truth. But the time in which we can just simply exist in this manner, where we can maybe have a job, where we can maybe see a woman from time to time and keep our resources, all that may be coming to an end. Because our enemies are in power. And this blind spot that people have been given to not see the truth, that they're being entertained by transgenders, by cross-dressers, by the confused, by the morally corrupt, by the deviants. That time of them pretending to be in the shadows, of them pretending to be in the small recesses of the mind's eye, and you can only see them from the corner of your eye. That time of them living their lives in the blind spot that they gave to us, I believe it's over. I believe that they are coming out, as they say. And what you do with this information is up to you. Something to think about. Peace.